Hey guys, Taylor Mungus has here, coming on you with another Let's Play. And today we're going to be Let's Playing Splinter Cell. And as you've noticed before, I've already have some Splinter Cell Let's Plays, but that was for Splinter Cell Conviction. Now this is the original game, which I've said before I've played a long time ago, uh, on the Xbox. But now, I'm going to play it again. And the reason I bought this game now is because um, on Steam there's an offer for the Splinter Cell games and currently they're all about $2.50 each. Well, except for Blacklist, which is seven fifty, dollars uh, but I didn't buy Blacklist though. Um, I, I was... I wasn't really sure if I'd ever actually play Splinter Cell Blacklist, so I'll just stick to the first four. Well, which doesn't include Pandora Tomorrow, by the way, because it's not available on Steam, and the reason being it's it has too many bugs. So, that means I'm going to be playing Splinter Cell and then Chaos Theory. Well, Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. And then Splinter Cell Double Agent, and and then I'll finally go back to Conviction. Yeah, I might make a few Splinter Cell Conviction videos here and there, but mainly I'll just be playing the earlier and more classic games. So here we are. Let's start. And I'm gonna set the... Wait, why is the, the difficulty... Oh. Okay, I'm gonna set the difficulty on hard, which seems to be the hardest difficulty we can play in. But yeah, what I can remember about this game is, is it's definitely gonna be harder than Splinter Cell Conviction. Because in Conviction you have infinite ammo for your pistols and weapon stashes so you can refill ammo and grenades. In this game you really have to be careful about conserving your ammo. So, I'll be playing as Umongus. Cancelled a trip to Georgia this morning after the suicide bomb assassination of that country's president by separatist rebels from the Abkhazia region. Continued fighting in the Abkhazia and South Ossetia. Oh, yeah, it wasn't even that long ago I last Georgia's played this game, though. It Western was institutions. well, we are Industry baron two or three Nicolaj years ago. Seized power today in a bloodless coup, installing himself in the presidential palace behind a wall of political and military support. The charismatic billionaire plans on holding elections within a matter of Georgian days to affirm palace. his seat of power and promises a pristine and profitable relationship with America and the West. Bringing high-speed fiber optic connectivity to areas of Eastern Europe that less than a decade past didn't doing? have telephones. The technological Georgia leap is due largely to the efforts of rising information industries Russia, in the Netherlands, Turkey, Armenia, and especially Jan. Georgia, where President the vice president called his visit to Georgia an honor and called Georgian president Kumbain Nikolaj a man with his yeah, eyes wasn't on that the future. when this game was made? 2004. And yeah, after I'm done recording this video, I'm gonna have to relook over it to make sure it recorded correctly. And I don't think it's really important showing the training mission anyways. So if this video does fail to record right, then I'm just not gonna upload this and then Sam first Fisher. episode you'll see. I can't believe you beat me be here. I like mission. Beer. Hello, girl. You can use my name, the room's safe. Lambert. Good to see you again. I trust NSA orientation is going well. Well enough. Everybody's been real yeah, coy about what exactly I'm allowed to know. It's the nature of the agency. 
We don't let any one person know everything, to be pretty which means we've all got to work together. Time. Even though I'll be out there alone. You'll be transmitting to us in more ways than you can imagine. <laughs> well, it's and we'll be online for your earpiece and offset. And that's how we're handling training. Yep. Sorry to make you run the course. I know you've been yeah, taking really care like of yourself. Yeah, I like splinter cell games. I haven't been in the field you in years. Sure. Play us but Tradecraft nice is something you don't forget. Silence it's like riding a bike or wearing cars. high heels. <laughs> be careful, Fisher. Everything we say is being monitored. Why do they need that how nervous TVs? the brass is about exercising the fifth freedom. I'll be good. Be better than good. Third Echelon is a brand yeah, new this, initiative. Uh, this the role labor. aggressive intelligence operations will play in NSA's future will depend Let's largely say. on your performance. I'll see you on the far side of the course. All right, so how Let's get started. Can you hear in me the franchise, clear? Lambert ends up dying good. later. That means the but I've never got to play. Correctly. The now, game where that happens. The technicians here want to calibrate your equipment. Can you turn to the red emergency light on the wall to your left? Great. Oh, now I the one on your right. To adjust the controls yet. Okay, so same thing for do that later if I Look have for to. another light up in the rafters on the ceiling. Excellent. Now look for one on the ground in front of you. All right, Fisher. We'll get through this as quickly as possible. We'll start simple. Climb up onto that ledge, that pool. Okay, so shift jumps. So Spacebar doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, and then scrolling the mouse wheel makes you run faster. We'll do it now if I can. Okay, controls. For crouch, I'm going to use control. So then. Back to wall Q. Fire left mouse, alternate fire right mouse. I'm gonna need to make it, uh, make it so he aims with right mouse. Use equip, jump, shift, and I'm gonna make it space. Okay, interaction right now is enter. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use an easier key for that. There's already a Q here, and then there's E for jump. R to reload. I wonder what's the control for melee.
can see a little secret room over there. Okay, so you press up to climb. We'll let you do your thing here. You're looking at your basic assault course. I'll chime back in once you've passed it. Spider. Black uniform. Also, his movement seems to be relative to the camera angle. But yeah, his black uniform. And just the way he moves, he's kind of like a spider. Same as climbing the ladder. Well, press Q. Well, I 
change that control uh, oh, okay, one Find a way over the gate, we'll move on to covert yeah. ops training. You have to double jump. You're not going easy on me, are you? Not so tight. That hurts. Sorry about that. What's the door code? Two eight four six nine. It was a pleasure working to you. Likewise. Two eight four six nine. This next door is retinal scanner locked. These things are cheap and near impossible to hack. Fortunately, it's just a matter of getting the right eyes to the scanner, usually an officer. The gentleman ahead is registered for the scanner. Convince him to open the door for you. Thank you. 
wonder why his pupil's so small. Let's work on stealth. Your gun should always be a last resort. Invisibility is your best weapon. We've got a network of photocells on your outfit connected to a visibility meter on your offset. If the meter's at four, you lit up like a Dutch brothel. At zero, you're a ghost's shadow. Stealth meter is on the bottom right hand corner. It keeps how well lit you are. Cameras are more fragile, and all you'll need to do to get past them is shoot them. Sometimes the only way to pass a camera will be to stick to existing shadows and time your moves. This game's got some pretty good graphics for a 2004 game. Knock out the guard in the corridor and hide his body before the patrolling guard finds it. Okay, so if you get really closer, then left click. It uh, does the melee attack. Ow! Carry his body and hide it. This doesn't seem to be a thing in Splinter Cell Conviction. Okay now, Fisher, let's bring in another guard to evaluate your work. Remember that discretion is critical to our operations. Covering up the evidence of your passing through will go a long way towards proving our usefulness in the field. Yeah. <laughs> Guess that was the wrong door. The 
next hallway is the same idea, but for sound. I'll be monitoring a few hidden mics. Carpet and concrete. Avoid surface and gravel. Or wood and gravel. Okay, being as quiet as possible. So I'm set to a minimum speed. started yet? Fisher? Yeah. Holy Christmas, you're at the end. Phenomenal work. Let's move on. What could possibly be next? That's gotta be him. Yep. Sam Fisher, let me introduce you to Vernon Wilkes Jr. Hello. Hey. hey. I've heard crazy things Just about your work. I hope you don't mind. I told him some of your stories from Kuwait. We're all friends here. Right on. Junior Wilkes is a longtime NSA employee. He'll be your wheels, wings, and weapons. He coordinates transportation and equipment. Great. For sure. Man, you must be itching to get back out in the field, huh? It's all I'm good at. Well, it's all we need. Welcome to the NSA. I'm sure things are going to come together famously. The third echelon so is a brand new Sims initiative, first and we're going to have a lot to prove. Right. The two of you will be third echelon's first team on the ground. Be ready story. for it, and do us proud. Welcome to the NSA. says third inch on initiative, the onus will be on you. <laughs> the onus almost looked like heinous. Uh, to prove the worth of deploying solo covert operatives by gathering intelligence in the field and taking deliberate action based on that intelligence, welcome to the NSA. Well, I'm going to be exiting though. Because, um, Fisher, the sun's down. Time to go to work. Finding yeah, Agent Blaustein's our first video. priority. You to locate him through a local NSA contact. I'm on my way. And stay off the streets. There's a heavy cop presence in this town. We don't have Washington's back. I'll be playing this mission. I'll be playing that next mission in the next uh, video. So goodbye for now.